So today we're learning how to foam roll. This is mine. It's a half stack and it's flat and cylinder like. You're going to put it at the base of your spine, how I am here, and roll on top of it. And you're going to place your feet and use your legs to move up and down the spine. I'm crossing my arms over my chest to get deeper into the upper back muscles as there are layers and layers of muscle in the upper back. This should not be painful. Um, you see I'm turning here and tilting to get deeper into the muscle without pressing directly on the spine. This is going to help direct your rolling to specific pain points. Again, it should not hurt. You should feel some discomfort, but if there's a pain above 7 out of 10, please do not continue. Here you're going to see me open my chest and the ribs. In here I'm working the intercostal muscles, which are the muscles and connective tissue between each ribs. This is going to help if you sit at a desk, if you're hunched over a lot. Bringing the legs down can also open up the belly and get some good stretches throughout the whole thoracic belly chest area. You can move a little bit further down to get the mid back. This also helps to twist your hips to get some more expansion in the lower ribs as well as the belly muscles. Here I'm going to show the glute stretch. You can bend your knees here and see what this feels like. Twisting is going to get, again, more specific muscles. Um, you're going to see me do a circle to support hip openers and the muscles on the side of the leg. This may not feel good for you if it's directly on your sacrum. Here I'm angling the foam roller to get specifically on the piriformis muscle, which is in the middle of each glute. Having your ankle on your opposite knee is going to activate those muscles to lengthen them and get deeper into the layers of the glute muscles. You can also lean on one cheek here and use your leg to move you. Getting under the hip bone here, this is going to really help for those people sitting at desks or who are runners. You can tilt back and forth here as I do to get to those deeper muscles. You're also hitting the IT band here um, and some of its attachments, which is going to help anybody who's a runner or a cyclist. This is the best support. Now, the whole IT band. You can start at the lower knee, and this is kind of the cheat way to do the upper knee and below the hip joint to roll IT band. You can put your leg in front or behind. It doesn't necessarily matter, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm bending my bottom leg here to get the lengthening of those muscles and the IT band to really get deeper into the stretch. Here's where I roll the full length of the IT band. It can be very uncomfortable. Um, and so I would suggest one to three rolls if you're just starting out. Here we're rolling the quads, the front of the muscles. You can bend your knees again to lengthen the leg muscles to get deeper into the tissues. For females, you can also go up into the groinal area this will support blood flow as well as stretching the hips. You can lay here as gentle pressure is going to push blood from the legs to the upper belly. Rolling here is decently uncomfortable and I don't suggest doing it for long periods of time. Here I'm going to show the calf rolling. So this is the back of the calf. You're going to flex your toes to your knee to again lengthen the muscle to get deeper through the layers of muscle. 
and I'm using my other leg to kind of push and roll me. You can also use both legs on top of the roller and use your arms and body weight as a push-pull sensation. Here you can see me doing that. It's quite a workout to foam roll, so please, if you only do this for a few minutes, it's just enough. This, is, this next one is going to support your shoulders and your neck as the subscap is underneath that armpit there, and you can push up into the armpit and rest and press. Your arm is out straight in front of you, but you can also rotate your arm as I'm doing and tilt forward and back to get the back muscles and deeper into the front cavity of the armpit and the pectoral muscles. Again, this is opening the shoulder and relaxing the shoulder down away from the ears when you roll in here. You're not hurting anything no matter the pressure you put on. Small rolls can help attack smaller knots that are in there and causing congestion.